Hey everyone! Um, 33 weeks and two days. I'm late this week. <coughs> I kind of forgot about it. <laughs> and then I remembered uh, yesterday and then I just didn't have time. So, Anyways, I'm a little bit late, but that's okay. I'm still here, still alive, still pregnant. Um, things are going good. I went to the doctor. Um, oh, here. Just leave those up there, okay? Leave those up there. Jump. You can jump with them up there. Leave them up there. Okay, sorry. Um, I went to the doctor and um, he did an ultrasound. Um, everything looked fantastic, which I was so excited about. The placenta has not deteriorated any. Um, there was one cystic spot, he said. He said, but it's nothing to be worried about and it's just fine. So um, it looks like I'll be able to go into labor, which is awesome. Um, he didn't check for dilation. He'll check that. I go back in in two weeks, um, and he'll check it then. I'm pretty positive that I am. Like, I would be really surprised if I have not dilated. I always have dilated this early with both the boys, and I just really feel like I have. Don't mind Davis running around in his underwear. Say hi. Uh, we want to more house. Pay, 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 I will have started dilating. I just feel a lot of pressure. I've had tons of contractions. Um, last night they woke me up in the night, uh, so I'm getting a lot um, through the night. Um, so that kind of makes me think that it's coming soonish. <laughs> Hopefully not too soon, but soonish. Maybe in the next, oh, f what, five weeks? Somewhere in there. Five, six weeks. Um,. What else? Baby movement was great. They checked all the movement. They had me roll on my side and make sure that she was moving um, or would like react to the rolling. And um, they checked the breathing movements and they were just great. So everything looks good. I asked him to check to see if it was a girl again because <laughs> I just can't believe it. Um, but he never did. He's like, oh, I haven't checked yet. And then he didn't. So and I forgot about it. But I'm pretty sure it is. But that would be quite the surprise if it's not. <laughs> Um, anyway, let me show you a couple of things that I made for this week. Um, <clears throat> let me see if I can just pull this up here. This is a car seat cover. You can't see it very good. Um, it just goes over the car seat so it'll keep her warm in the winter. And this side of it is all fleece. And then this side is just yeah. like a... Um, I can't think of the name of it. <laughs> just like a cotton fabric though, it's just lightweight. Um, and on the sides here, I haven't finished it yet because I'll talk about the car seat in a second, but I have a question about our car seat. So anyway, so this wraps in here and then this will Velcro up like this. So it'll be totally closed. So she'll stay warm and then these just Velcro off so you can take it off to wash it and stuff. Um, um, and I got a pattern for it off of fleecefun.com. It's actually a really good website I just have found. Um, it has so many printable patterns that are really cool. I've been able to make the kids like um, flannel pajamas for Halloween and then this. There's a few other things that I want to do. But see it goes all the way around the back of the car seat. So she'll be really warm this winter because it's very cold where we live. Um, it gets down to like 10, 15 degrees in the winter. So, um, and then also we started painting her mural on the wall. Well, I didn't, but the girl that is painting it has started. She did the tree part of it, um, in the corner. We still have more trees to do around the room, but this is the main part of the tree. And then she's just going to do a couple of branches down this side. So, Yeah. And then those little flowers, let me see if I can get a little bit closer. These flowers right here, I got at a yard sale for her. They were $1.50 each. So, they were pretty cute. 
Um, other than that, not much has changed. I've got a lot of our clothes washed and I got them all hung up. I'm set. I think we'll go out yard selling maybe once or twice more um, the next couple of weekends, but I don't really need a whole lot more. Just later stuff. She's got um, newborn covered for sure. She's got tons. So, yeah. So the girl that's doing the mural is supposed to come again tomorrow. Um, so hopefully she'll get a little bit more done. <laughs> She's really, really, really slow like an artist, you know. So <laughs> she came in and sketched it out one day. And then like a week later she came and did that. <laughs> now she's supposed to come Friday and finish the branches and then she's gonna make it like three or two dimensional so it'll kinda stick off the wall. Um and then and she'll have to come back another day and do the blossoms for the cherry blossoms. Anyway, then we can get the curb up and then she'll be here before we know it. Um but yeah, it's been a super busy week. We had Taylor has started kindergarten. I know I've mentioned but he's actually started now. Um, he goes five days a week. Um, our kindergarten's half day here. I don't know if I said that before. But I have to um, get him there by 8.30. I have to leave here at 8.30 in the morning and I pick him up at 11.30 in the afternoon. Well, almost afternoon. Um, and then he's also started soccer and I've started coaching soccer games. Let's just put it down because it's so loud. That's garbage. Thank you. Um, you want paint in there? No. I'll go get you a different bag, okay? Just a second, I'll go get you a different bag. Um, but I started coaching the soccer games, and the other day it was like 96 degrees or something. It was so hot, and where I live it's very, very dry, so it's dry heat. Um, and it was so hot. I did pretty good during the game, but then I got really sick at the end. I was done, and then I had contractions all night last night, so... It'll be interesting to see how the soccer season goes. Practices have been good so far. Hopefully the weather will be cooling down in the next few weeks and it'll be better. But we're trying to figure out something to do this weekend with the holiday weekend. Um, the kids are, or well, Taylor is done, uh, doesn't have school. And my husband doesn't have work. So we thought we'd go do something fun. We were going to go on a trip. But then we realized it probably was not a good idea seeing as I am due in like not that long. <laughs> And my doctor didn't recommend it either, so we've decided we're just going to stay home. I think one night we're going to go to a drive-in movie, get the kids a late nap, and take them out to a drive-in. Um, and then I think we're going to go up in the mountains and do dinner one night. Um, and then maybe go swimming one day or something like that. So we'll just make it a fun weekend at home. Be a little bit more relaxing for me. I'm not up for packing for camping or laying on an airbed and in a tent. <laughs> it just doesn't matter. We got rid of our tent trailer at the beginning of the year, so we didn't have it. We, don't have, we only have a tent. We were going to buy a toy hauler, and we just never got around to it this year, so we're going to buy it next year. And camping will be a lot better with the three kids, so. Anyway, I think that's really it. Um, oh, let me show you my belly. I almost forgot. I feel huge. I feel like she's gotten really big lately. And really low and oh and she is head down the doctor said she was head down so I'm excited about that her head's here her body was up this side and her feet were over here um, and I do get most of the movement over here so I think that's typically her position that she's in but I feel like oh my gosh I feel like she's gotten so big <laughs> I haven't gained any more weight so that is always nice so I'm I'm like four pounds for my delivery weight with Davis. So I may have gained a little bit, but not too much, if anything. So I have four pounds that I've got to stay under. I hope to stay under. But it's all about being healthy. So if it goes over, then that's fine. Anyway, I uh, will talk to you guys for my 34 week. I can't believe that. Um, and I'll be down to six weeks to my due date. Okay, we'll see you guys.